frequency changes too. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. I never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. The boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small-town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it, but... But 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price at two grand. Sentimental, ain't you?
Okay, hear me out. What? Know how some parents stop the kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene. I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey!
take the lead. I'll bring it home! Follow my lead. Whoa. Whoa. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. 